Tomorrow marks the 40th anniversary of Cyclone Tracy hitting Darwin. The response to the killer storm was swift. Leading part of the charge was the Governor-General, Sir Peter Cosgrove. He's spoken exclusively to Sky News about the trauma that followed Tracy and the resilience to rebuild. Sky News Darwin reporter Dan Borsher filed this report. Sir Peter Cosgrove says 40 years on, Darwin is a polar opposite to the city he found days after Cyclone Tracy hit on Christmas morning 1974. The city then looked like it had been subjected to an enormous bombing raid. Uh, there were hardly any of the older houses with roofs. Uh, the place was in turmoil, most streets were still blocked. People came from across the nation to rebuild. Sir Peter said he was struck by the resolve of the survivors. There was a great deal of stoicism on behalf of most of the uh, Darwinians here. But the Governor-General told Sky News he witnessed the enormous pain Tracy brought. There was a great deal of uh, frustration and, uh, and sort of uh, dismay at the great damage, but almost immediately that was uh, replaced with a determination to get the place back in running order and, of course, to rebuild into the sort of city it is today. Prime Minister Tony Abbott released a statement echoing those sentiments and paying tribute to the resilience of the survivors and those who rebuilt Darwin. He said one of the lessons from Cyclone Tracy was that when nature was at its worst, Australians were at their best. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Darwin. And Sky News and APAC will have comprehensive coverage as Darwin and Australia marks the 40th anniversary of Cyclone Tracy. Sky News Darwin reporter Dan Borsha will bring you exclusive reports. We'll also bring you live coverage of the memorial services in Darwin today and also on Boxing Day.